Welcome to our channel, The Work of God, where we find topics of high spirituality that lead us through the paths of holiness. Five mandatory ways to worship God in spirit and in truth. Dignity that we must glorify. Today we are going to talk about the five dignities that are most important in the worship that is due to our God. First of all, God is spirit. So, true worshipers must worship God in spirit and in truth. John 4 verses 23 to 24. Recognizing God as spirit, we accept the dogma of the Holy Trinity, where God the Father is the divine will, the author of creation. God the Son is the eternal word who has been, is, and will always be, and God the Father, and who came into the world as Jesus Christ, the incarnate Word of God, our Savior. We also recognize the Holy Spirit, who by His power has brought everything into existence and sustains it in His love with the Father and the Son. Secondly, we must adore the dignity of the Word of God, both in the Holy Scriptures, which are divine revelation, and in the Spirit, who became incarnate in the Immaculate Womb of the Virgin Mary, who came into the world as a fragile child, a human being like any of us, with the difference that he is God and man. It is necessary to adore the sacred infancy of Jesus, because Jesus is God, and God is eternal. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Moreover, to adore the child Jesus brings us closer to his innocence, purifies us, makes us spiritually like children, and perfects us to enter the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 18, verse 3 I tell you the truth, unless you change and become like little children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Thirdly, we must worship the humanity of Jesus as the light, the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, verse 6 For without him we are nothing. John 15, verse 5 God the Father exhorts us to worship his Son during his baptism in the Jordan. Matthew 3, verse 17 And the voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. In Matthew 17, verse 5, during the transfiguration of the Lord, God the Father said from a luminous cloud enveloping his son, Moses, Elijah, and the apostles, This is my beloved son, I am well pleased with him. Listen to him. We can only love God if we keep his commandments. Worship of God involves our obedience. Fourthly, we must worship God who manifested himself as the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Jesus in his passion, crucifixion, agony, and death. It is there that the prophecy of John the Baptist is fulfilled when Jesus came to him and said, This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. John 1 Verse 29 When we enter spiritually into the Passion of Christ, we worship the Lamb of God who sacrificed Himself for our sins and obtained our eternal life. It is necessary to enter into the Passion of Jesus on Calvary. It is necessary to adore Him in His sufferings. On the cross, in His holy wounds, precious blood, water, pains, tears, sorrows and anguishes in those of the Blessed Virgin Mary. All the saints immersed themselves in the passion of the Lord and lived it with intense love. Witness of this is Padre Pio and many stigmatizers who glorified God in their sufferings. In the role of the royal priesthood that God wants from us, yes, even in the late 1 Peter 2 Verse 9, we offer to the Father the passion, crucifixion, 
agony and death of our Lord Jesus Christ in reparation for our sins and those of the whole world. This is also a reparation and adoration made in the Divine Mercy devotion. Fifthly, we must adore Jesus as the food of our souls, the Holy Eucharist, the living bread come down from heaven, which is the true body, blood, soul, and divinity. When we receive the Holy Eucharist, God, who is Spirit, and who is also Jesus in His sacred humanity, unites with us in an intimate way in which we are purified by His precious blood for eternal life. God is truly present in the Holy Eucharist. That is why we must adore Him when we receive Him. For in reality, even if only for a few moments, we are spiritually transformed in five ways. First, we are transformed into a living host of His body, blood, soul, and divinity. Second, we are transformed into a living chalice of His precious blood. Third, we are transformed into living tabernacles of His Eucharistic Presence. Fourth, we are transformed into living sons of His Light. And five, we are transformed into living images of His Holiness. How long does this effect last? It all depends on the intensity of our adoration. We should be continuous. Many people think that God is only adored before the Blessed Sacrament of the altar, but we cannot forget that we are temples of the Holy Spirit and that we must adore His presence in us without ceasing. Since God is life itself, this is what Jesus expects of us when He said, True worshipers will worship God in spirit and in truth. Ephesians 6 verse 18 Pray in the Spirit at all times, with petitions and supplications. Be alert and persevere in prayer for all the Lord's people. In summary, we are to worship the Lord in the ways above mentioned, which are, first, the eternal Word of God, second, the sacred humanity of Jesus from the moment of His incarnation and His holy infancy, third, Jesus our Master, the Light, the Way, the truth and the life. Fourth, Jesus in his passion, agony and death. Fifth, Jesus, the living bread come down from heaven, the Holy Eucharist. This is a prayer taught by the angel who visited Lucia, Jacinta and Francisco in one of the Fatima apparitions, while holding a chalice on which floated a consecrated host from which drops of blood were falling. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly, and I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul, and divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ, present in all the tabernacles of the world, in reparation for the outrages with which is offended, through the infinite merits of the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. I ask for the conversion of sinners. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. God bless you.